All right. Now, again, we game. My bad, guys. It's all good. This, this honestly, yeah. my my uh my first. I'm just being transparent. It's my first Zoom meeting. Y'all, the first people to come on Zoom meeting. Uh, guests for the podcast. Hey, I love it. We so, making history. I'm making from Houston, history, I'm baby. From Houston, so it's it's only appropriate to do it with some yeah. more Houstonians, so we can raise we the city it. up. So we Let's gain growth, alignment, manifestation, and evolution. And we're going to talk about how Gutter Movie aligns with that and sharing a little bit of your story, uh, Mr. Troy Wooten and Mr. Yeah. Joe uh, Elmore. Elmore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, I yep, you, yep. I appreciate yep, y'all just, coming out. Yeah, just call me T-Roy, man, and we in there. All right, T-Roy. Hey. Yep. Okay. So, yep. so Get how it to him, you? Joe. Yeah, um, gutter, the gutter movie came from. Um, I had did a movie called The Trunk. Um, I wrote it. That was my first thing I ever wrote that um, Hollywood started paying attention to. And um, it was uh, that's Brian White, Boris Kojo. Those guys were attached to it. It was going to be this big movie for me. And I was thinking, what can I do next to follow a movie like that? Right. So I was thinking. Um, I was reading Donald Goins at the time. And you know, Donald Goins does, deals with a lot of pimps and whores and and street talk and street, Yo, my, street my, language my, and all of that stuff. Yes, yeah. Sir. yeah. So I was like, man, I'm gonna do a remake. I'm gonna do Never Die Alone, which is on Donald Goins' book. So I'm writing Never Die Alone, trying to put it in my spin on that story. Okay. And Brian White, the actor, calls me on the phone and says, you know, they're doing Never Die Alone now with DMX. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, so. <laughs> I, was, I shift gears and I was thinking, man, but I got this, I'm in this zone now, this this whole zone. And I said, you know what, what happened? What happened? And I saw, um, I was reading that um, they were like putting babies in the gutter. Women were leaving babies in the gutter. And I was like, that's crazy. And I'm like, what, what happens to a child that was thrown in the gutter and survives? You know what I mean? Right. It's almost like the street has to raise you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You yep. literally come from the streets for real. Right. And I I, I, I rocked on that premise. And for years I was yep. working on this thing. And um, finally, I knew what I wanted to do with it. Uh, and it got so, I got so intense that I had three stories out of it. Okay. You know what I mean? So Gutter is actually the middle story of a trilogy. Okay. So it's so, an intersection, indeed. basically. Yes, indeed. Yeah, um, we uh, shot... We shot the first version. We just finished it. Um, it's going to be coming out sometime this spring called Platinum. Okay. And that's that's the first story. Okay. That is the second story. You have to come back and then promote that one to the We Game podcast, too. We already it's, know. All right. We question. already know. Without question. And, uh, then we're doing Gutter 2 uh, sometime this summer. Okay. So, yeah, it, it has so many stories, so many layers um, to it. And so many different characters that I just I just kept rocking with it, and um, that's where we are now. Man, I think that's I think it's super dope though uh, that that y'all are from Houston because uh, being a native Houstonian myself, there's so much creative uh, energy in Houston. Man, but we um we so we listen to so much screw, we so screwed up. We we just we take our time getting to the. We're not in a rush. We move at our right. own pace, and I, I think mm. that's the kind of special thing about Houston because. The way we cultivate is a little different, kind of how you said uh, you you stewed on it for a while before you know you you actually moved there, and and how DMX was already recording what you first thought about, but that's because you know the ideas belong to the universe to God, and so yeah. we, we when we don't move not, fast, yeah. enough, but but really what it is is you move right on time so that you can create something greater. You feel no doubt, what man, it, no doubt. man, it's am it's amazing that you said that about the coaching. You know, because it is, but we also want to, me and Joe, we wanted to raise the bar. You know, we, we know people with a lot of talent and we want to shine it on here, but we want everybody to take the movie game serious out here. When they decide that they want to do some movies, be serious about it, man. We're going to treat it like it's a billion dollar business. We're not going to run around and half ass do it, man. Right, you right. Know, so that was our thing. We, we dead serious when we on set. It's straight business. You know, Joe want 10, 12 hour shoots a day. You know, and, and that's how we work. So when people come, this is not, it's not going to be your hobby. When you come, we want some dedication from you. 
and we're going to bring the best. We're going to, we're going to give you the network and we're going to give you all that we have. And we just, we, we require the same. And we're right. just trying to make a, a beautiful project, man, like we did, you yeah. know, so, and it don't stop. We're going to keep think, on pushing. I think that, you know, like you, just to add to what you're saying, and it all come from the value system, man. Uh, I'm from South Park. I went to Jones. Yeah. And so okay. the value system is, you know, work hard, you know, work hard. You just got to work hard and be respectful. And as long as you're respecting yourself, you're going to reciprocate that in other people that you you work with. And so, I mean, that's really good because y'all putting Houston on a map where people can come here and chase their dreams as well. Or, or some of us can stay here. Right. And, 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 exactly. and facilitate our dreams without going for a way to look for an opportunity. Opportunities being created right here at home. No doubt, yeah. no doubt. Go ahead, that's Joe. What, that's what we're trying to do. Um, because, you know, I shot a movie um, in LA and uh, it went to theaters and, and it's like, okay, LA calls you and then Atlanta calls you. And um, and everyone's like, I'm gonna move to Atlanta, to get it popping. I'm gonna move to LA to get it popping. And I, I just feel like if you can't get it popping where you at, what makes you think you can go somewhere else? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're not a big fish in a small pond, how are you going to be a big fish in a big pond? That makes no sense. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's like, huge. Let's, let's get it rocking where we at. Like, you don't have to leave <laughs> to make a movie. You don't have to leave to, to do the things that you want to do. You can do it right That's here. So right. Houston is one of the richest cities in America. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why would you leave? Like, it's all here for us. It's I just... Yeah. Go back to that, that go back to that value system, system, how people... Do they they assume that if they go somewhere else with their looks, right. you know, looks like glitter and glam, but you know, it's not about what it looked like, it's about what it is. Right? Yeah, and you have to put you have to put the work in. Some people think it's gonna fall on their lap. You oh. know, we, we, we've been putting the work in for a minute, man, for a long minute. And so when people come, we require that. We require that diligence. We require that consistency from them, you know, Keep showing up. This this is a real craft. You're not just gonna wake up one day and say, "I'm gonna do this and get in front of the camera and nail it." You know right. what I'm saying? So you know, be serious about it. We take it very serious. And even when they wanted us to do um do premieres over here, we're gonna do it right here first. We're doing everything right here first. We pick up people from right here first. You know, and you know, you get to pick it a little right here, and then we take it out, man. Like you know, we we just we have enough right yeah, here. Shoot it home. We got it. Yeah. Shoot it home. This is what this is what made us right. This yep. what, this what we know. So this is what we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when we're not playing, man, you know, and, and then it's a lot of fun, man. I tell people, man, the achievement is the best part of life, man. It brings something forth into existence, you know. So when, when Joe has an idea, he brings it to me, we build on it, man. To see people, man, make that come to life and put it on a big screen, man, is an amazing feeling, you know. And to go to uh, most popular on you on Tubi. You know, black cinema, drama, you know, you know, all the above, man, to see that go reach those heights. And it's just the beginning. It's just a feeling that you just can't, you know, the talent that we have. And we have some great talent. They're just like super excited, man. And I get more appreciation watching them be excited about it, man. You know, that's what I get, you know, by seeing them excited and reposting and happy about it. You know, the projects. Man, I can hear the I can hear the excitement and, and the passion in your voice mm -hmm. as you're mm -hmm. talking about it. And, and for, for me, um, just to just just to tell you how this story resonates with me, um, my mom had me at 15, and I come okay. from, I come from a very uh, interesting background. Um, okay, because of my value system, I love it. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. okay. I, I I know what having nothing is, so I know what really matters. When you have nothing, you learn what really matters. And that's that hard work and that self-value and that determination. So I'm excited. So the movie, the, the movie, got, how was it working with uh, Miss Claudia Jordan? Uh, amazing, actually. Claudia is very amazing. Man. Claudia's the bomb. Um, she really is. She came in, got the work. And the story behind that is um, she actually wasn't supposed to be in the movie. Okay. Uh, Scarface was supposed to be in the movie. Okay, yo, yeah, you know, yeah. we, we know Scarface. You are we repping the, we so, repping the town, baby. Yeah, yeah we, we, we were so excited to get Face, you know, contract signed and everything. We good to go, Face coming. We all excited, you know, put Face in, in this movie gutter. Um, 
was about to be amazing. And, you know, he had, you know, medical issues that he right. had to take care of. And Man, so he had to get a uh, transplant from his son. Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah he's doing, yeah, he doing well. Uh, right I, yeah, I he is. I, yeah. I keep up with what's going on in the city for sure. Yeah. yeah. So he had to bow out gracefully, you know, at the last minute, you know, with apologies. And we was like, man, okay. <laughs> you know, I never really tripped because I know God got a plan. So I, I wasn't really tripping on it. You know, I just wanted to make sure he was happy and healthy. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so Claudia, you know, they was, they was throwing names at us and everything. And they was like, well, what do you think about Claudia Jordan? I'm like, yeah, okay, but you're playing with me because <laughs> Claudia right. Jordan going to be in this movie. And they said, yeah, we already talked to her and um, she's with it. She wants to come through. Um, actually, Carl Payne um, from The Martin Show, he wanted to do it. Okay. But he's uh, working with Tyler Perry right now. And uh, Tyler, Tyler Perry got the compound and can't nobody leave. Can't leave. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah I, I, I think I, uh, I know a couple of cats that went out there um, mm -hmm. from Houston that's out there doing, yeah. uh, I guess, the show, Ruthless and a couple of the different shows that he got going yeah. right now. Right. Yeah. Right. So you can't just leave. So oh, he yeah. couldn't leave. And then Claudia was like, she would love to come to Houston and uh, be a part of this project. And I'm like, that's crazy. So um, she came in. Last minute, did her thing. Matter of fact, she was actually working for the Oscars. That's what it was. It was. Yep. That's what it was. Yeah. She's working for the Oscars. So we had to make sure we had a space for her to do her Zoom call for the Oscars. Okay. Uh, while we was working, you know what I'm saying? So we was working, let her do her thing and then get back to it, man. It was live. And she was so professional and so very great. professional, man. man. We'd love to work with her again. Man, I, I love Claudia Jordan. You know, I, I watch. You know, I I, I watch her. Uh, uh, I watched on a couple movies, but then I seen her personality. You know, and uh, yeah, she don't she don't take no shit. You know, <laughs> square right, business. I, I gonna keep it. Claudia Jordan is uh, straight to the point. Yeah, you know? oh, she's a sister. She's no, a sister, she, man. She, oh yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. I just sweetheart, dog. Like you get yeah. to know her, man, and she's like a beautiful person. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what's up. And then you got to work with uh one of the Baldwin brothers. I mean, oh, he got to work with you guys. How about that? Yeah. He got to come to Houston and experience. He didn't want to leave, did he? Yeah, yeah, man. man. Daniel, Daniel was like, dude was the bomb. Um, that story was uh Yankee Grant, uh, um, a producer and actor here in Houston. She came to a movie premiere that we did because I love you, and um she saw and she's like, man, you should work with Daniel Baldwin. This is like 10 years ago. And um, she's like, you should work with Daniel Baldwin. I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when we were working on this project, I had a role that I didn't think nobody could play. And um, I'm like, man. And then I thought about it. I'm like, I wonder. So I called Yankee up and I was like, yo, you still cool with Daniel Baldwin? She's like, yeah. She, she called him and um, he said, yo, tell him to call me. So he, then he texted me and said, hey, let's do, do it. And I was like, OK. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're out of, don't it. threaten me with a good time. Man, exactly. exactly. You emailed him the yeah. script that day. Hey, yeah, we made it, the deal that day. Daniel it it transpired real fast. Yeah he, was, did too, yeah, he was fire. He was fire. He was a great person to be around. He's got a million Hollywood stories. Oh, got awesome. hey, hey, audio, for, audio. I want to give a shout out to um, ESG, man, because we was having, we was, we was shooting on location, right? Okay. And uh, ESG, Smack Water, Smoke Guys, man, from South Park, man, yeah, South, they, they, they on, pulled man. up. Listen, but let me tell you the story. Tell I, I you got story. goosebumps. You said ESG. <laughs> okay. Listen. Be poking pulled, my cousin, so you know. Okay. Pulled <laughs> up. You know, Look, they pulled, they pulled up thinking it was a, a, a music video, right? Okay. And, but when he saw me, he was like, T-Ray, what's up? I said, man, we shoot the movie. He said, oh, and it was up there for Jeff Shelley. And they're like, oh, this is a movie? But we was having problems, man, with one of the locations that we had. And we was going back and forth with the um, landlord, per se. But when he saw ESG, he was like, oh, man, ESG. Mm -hmm. He was like, what's up, man? He wanted a picture. He wanted this. And he was like, man, you know what? Don't worry about it, man. Y'all do whatever y'all need to do. We was like, wow, man. Yeah, wow. And Joe, Joe told the SD, hey, man, I'm gonna put you in the movie, man. Come on, man. You gotta get a scene. You gotta get a scene, man. man Just that's because that he's right there. 
man, he showed up, man, and, and it was smooth. It, everything was smooth, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's it what's was smooth, man. Shout out to, shout yeah, out to South Park. That's what we do in South Park. You know, if you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, in Houston, that's what we do. We we kick down MLK Boulevard, Jones mm. High School, South Park. You already Park. know. You know, I'm going to baby. I'm going to. St. Low, 7414 St. Low Jones High School. <laughs> I play ball at LSU, so I go by audio, oh. but my name Chris Henry, you know, I got a, a ton of ace town stories. We, you know, maybe one day oh, we we'll, gonna, we, we'll, 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 we'll get there. Hey, you're gonna, but you're gonna have you're gonna have to come to the set or Saturday, man, when we um when we have the red carpet event, man. You're gonna have to pull up, man. You gotta pull up, man. We got the red carpet event Saturday. I got the information man. most definitely. Uh I like to get dressed too, so if and I, I yeah. want to, if wherever Claudia going to be, you know, <laughs> I'll be honest. I, listen, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I date men, but I make exceptions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I come out there so, and show up for Claudia. So yeah, but no, but no, on, really, congratulations, man. And um, thank you, man. On behalf of the city, you know. Well, I, I want to say thank you because, like I said, it's been a long time coming. It's a lot of talent here in Houston. Um, I got friends. I got. I got. A, I got friends all over America, as you would say, chasing a dream. But um, yes. you guys making it where you could st be right here and and become and just be. Hey, audio. It's because of this of the network. We met because of the network. Work and this is how it keeps going. Yeah. You know, you want to come like when people get in the room, we're gonna introduce you to some group, good people. You're gonna do the same thing for us. And all the thing we tell people is, just do what you say you're going to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's the only thing we kept doing. That's how me and Joe just keep progressing. We just say, can you do it? Yes. And we get it done. Everybody do their part. If it's just that small, that big, just do your part, please. And we're going to move forward, you know, for real, man. And I would really would love for you to come out there, man. Come out there, man. The second installment coming out, you know, soon. And so you already manifested gutter. Now you're about to evolve. Mm. And, uh, yeah. and you know, don't stop. And, and, and keep it going. And create more opportunities for more people and man and, and at the same time entertaining while you're entertaining teaching so exactly that's, that's the thing that's, that's the that's the blessing in it all you know the fact that you're gonna entertain and you're gonna teach at the same time man I, i'm like i said i'm i'm excited to watch the movie and see the movie and oh the, it's live when, when i read it's it live. I, i'm like a baby that's in the gutter and actual gutter and, and my uh my partner was telling me like no, actually, the baby was in the gutter. I'm like, okay, that, that caught my attention because the real deal is that it's a lot of untold stories out here, and uh, yeah. and and some people need to be exposed so they can know what real life look like for some other people. For real, and, exactly. You know, hey, passion. Hey, because that's a real so situation. That's not it's like real, very real. phony stuff I made up in my head. That really yeah. happens. Like you You're can Google right. it. Like right. they yeah. left in the actual gutter. It's ugly. It's you know what I'm saying. Right, right. And it's like, and it's, what if that baby was saved? You know what I'm saying. What right. is that like? You know the anger that might be in that ch child. You know what I'm saying. Know that his parents, his mama would leave him in the gutter. You know what I'm that, saying. The scene, so, the, uh, the scene was so powerful, man. That when we were shooting it, man, people around was like so sad and brought to tears when they actually was landed. The baby was not hurt, well protected, but this the way that we had to do it. The scene was so powerful, man. While we were shooting it, man, people just really couldn't deal with it while we were shooting it. You know, it was that hard. It was that, it was that, you know, it was now, that real. Now what, yeah. what baby, what baby is this that's gonna have this in their you know they already got this on their resume. They get, oh, <laughs> baby, baby, I can't I came out the womb, you know, right. coming out the gutter. Acting. <laughs> Came out together acting. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's it's a hey, it is, man. The whole experience. Yeah, like, shout out to uh, our executive producer, Latoya Ward. Um, she's dope. Um, dope executive producer, dope actress. She's in the movie. Actress. She plays even better. In the movie. Yeah. She's um, even a better person, man. Absolutely. She's a, even a better person. Shout know? out to uh, Felucio Peters, T Denise um, Johnson. Yep. Um, yep, uh, Il Trill Neil. Il Trill Neil, John Harris, our composers, our music super, supervisor. King, King Solomon, big, big Nikhil, yeah. they put this together. Hey, big yes, team, man. We have, we have a, shout hey. out to everybody. Man, well, hey, listen. Audio, we have a great team, man. We have a great team. I can most definitely feel the energy. I really appreciate y'all for coming out to We Game Podcast. 
uh, again. Our pleasure. Man, I, I'm grateful. I already put it, uh, I started putting y'all out on the Instagram and putting you on the Facebook and, and my mouth, you know, I love to talk. So I, everywhere I <laughs> go, this is a topic. And if I come out Saturday, I'm most definitely going to be talking. We're going to bust it up. We're and looking it up. good Ooh. and smelling hey. good. So right, thank y'all for coming to We Game because we growing, we pleasure. shining, we manifesting, and we evolving right here in H-Town. And check out the gutter movie. The Check premiere it out, is Friday. Uh, uh, let everybody know where they can find the movie at. Uh, you know where we can find this movie at. Uh, all streaming the different... on Tubi. Stream, okay. Streaming on Tubi. Stream. Also starring from Houston, Zeno Williams, Jeff Shelley. Yeah. Um, One of them from Acres Homes, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all got a pilot yeah. that know him when he saw the the, the flyer. He said uh -huh. he, he told me about it. Yeah, uh -uh, Desi Sykes. I mean, we have a great cast, man. It's okay. Just yeah, it'll be on Amazon Prime next week. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nah. Nashville. Right now, I look forward yeah. to watching it, man, and hopefully seeing you guys Saturday. Um, no doubt, no doubt, man. God, and hopefully, man, you're gonna be there. You right here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Y'all thought if hey, I got an outfit. I'm ready. I just need to <laughs> pull up. I, I, I'm prepared. Pull up. I pull up. That's all you had to say. I'm from you got to pull, pull up. up. You got to come live with the podcast, man. You know what? Yeah. See what I'm saying? You help it. See, there you go. P produce me. That's right. You know <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I'm going to charge you for that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Already, man, man, I appreciate you guys for coming out, man. I look forward to watching. It's love. And good luck. Thank you so much. God bless. And I look and, and, and to your future endeavors and you know, I'm gonna come out there and try it for a roll, you know, see if y'all see what y'all can do with this six six guy right here. <laughs> Already audio. You don't do. That's a I, bet, man. It's our pleasure, man. All right, Thank man. you so much. Thank you. Y'all have, right, have, have a good evening. All right. Likewise, man.